Flip Noise users. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to load a video to work with moving images in uh, Logic Pro 9. So I'm going to bring Logic up and the first thing we need to look at is the global tracks at the top. So if we click on the little arrow next to global tracks, mine's got three things labeled, marker, signature and tempo. Um, if you control and click the global tracks it brings you up a menu okay and I don't need my markers on and I can control and click that don't need the signature on okay I'm gonna leave my tempo on uh, because with this particular video I'm gonna do another video after this and I'm going to uh, do tempo changes um, and I'm gonna click the video one on because I want to have the video option uh, and then once you've labeled that it uh, once you've ticked that video box, you can then click on the little arrow next to the word video and you can open movie. And you literally click on open movie. And in my case, I'm going to go to the desktop and load this video here. And we can move that window. With this window, if I close this window down, it appears here. Likewise, if I double click that, it could appear here. And I can move this around and I can stretch it out keeps the ratio the aspect ratio there um, and sometimes you might just want to work there if it's not here it's probably because your inspector is switched off uh, just there okay and um, once you've done that uh, you could set up your locators if you want uh, a good thing to do actually is go and find your end marker which is this little square here and put it to the end of your of your movie. Check out the end of the movie. Make it a bit smaller. There we go. Right. So the end of the movie. Put that there. The advantage of that is if you do start working with loops, and we'll just put a beat in now. We won't play it. Uh, I'm going to import the tempo and everything. Uh, yeah. If you do work in loops, you come to the end of it and it will stop automatically wherever that is so it will just stop your loops the advantage of that is if you were doing quick loops um, you could switch that on and it would go all the way to the end really quickly likewise another one put it in switch on loop it's just going to go to the end of the song when you come to save your project and you've got your video file and all your audio there you need to go to file save as okay you need to rename it um, and choose a selection where you're going to save it and the important thing then is the include assets button there okay if you include assets um, there's a copy movie to file and when you click on that it says do you really want to copy that because obviously movie files are quite big it can use up quite a large amount of disk space um, but sometimes you need to associate everything in the same folder especially if you're working on it somewhere else on another computer or a laptop uh, so all these if you're working with if you've recorded your own voice on an advert or something like that then obviously you need to in include external audio files this is the EXS instrument and the samples associated with that uh, any samples that you used in Ultrabeat and uh, space designer impulses as well that you might have uh, altered um, or loaded um, so depending on what you want if you're unsure and you've got loads of disk space probably safer to do that you can always delete them afterwards uh, remember you can create a new folder there and I could call that Nico 3 and then I've got to save it once you save it it will save the video and any audio that you've recorded in that folder and in my case the night video is there okay and inside that we have got the movie file and the audio files that we're dealing with nicely packaged up you can then copy that onto whatever computer or studio you're going to master it in and uh, you won't be short of any files the other thing to do when you put your sound to the video uh, and you want to export the movie your sound to the movie um, you want to go to export audio to movie 
and there is a little tricky stage usually this is set up okay you don't need to touch any of that unless you're doing different uh, rendering qualities and stuff um, and I would call this obviously a different name um, and when you go to save it this is the important part really tricky it doesn't really it's not really that self-explanatory um, this is the sound that's already on the movie it's not your audio that you're putting on so you need to make sure that that is unselected uh, I kind of wish logic would have done that but I mean it's used for different things you'd probably want the sound on usually uh, so yeah make sure that, that that's not selected so you just click anywhere in this area and then click on OK and it will mix it down for you it will put this audio onto this movie so if you're doing a job for a um, particular advert or um, for a theme tune for a television program or something like that you could send the company uh, your music to their video um, because you couldn't send them the logic file they not necessarily have logic to load so hope this helps and I'll see you soon Thank <laughs> you.